Scripps News political analyst Steve Schmidt is with us now. He's the founder of The Warning Substack and podcast. Steve, the Supreme Court just decided in the last 90 minutes or so they are going to take up Donald Trump's presidential immunity case in the J6 case. Do you think they're going to bring that to a, a tidy resolution? Well, I, I think ultimately what the Supreme Court will decide in that case is the president of the United States does not have some type of special immunity that places the office or the person above the law either during the tenure, uh, before the tenure, or after the tenure of office. It's a, it's a foundationally important claim, one that has riven the entire society. And so I think that the Supreme Court has sent a signal that they will decide this question in American life for all time. But it will be interesting to see, Steve, uh, how quickly they do that, because it could impact the timeline here of if we get a trial before the election, a federal trial. I want to talk to you about Congress uh, seemed to have reached a deal, tentative deal, to avoid a government shutdown, at least for a week or so. This looks like another kick the can down the road moment, doesn't it, Steve? I mean, why can't Congress pass a budget? Because I know a lot of our viewers right now are, are saying, I'm so tired about hearing Joe and Chance and Steve talk about the potential government shutdowns every few months. The incredible thing about this is then that members of Congress will come out and congratulate one another for maintaining this chaos in perpetuity as if this is governing. Uh, these are the most basic foundational aspects of the role of the legislative branch in American life, which is to appropriate the nation's money. And so over the course of many, many years, we've seen that break. And so maintaining just the basic, basic functionality of the institution has become the entire focus of the institution in the context of what is it that those people are doing up there. It is, it is an extraordinary thing to watch, and it is completely ahistoric. There, there has never been a yeah. moment in time where the Congress has ceased to function uh, in this manner over our entire history. Real quick, got to talk about Michigan. President Biden lost 100,000 votes to uncommitted viewers campaign manager. You've advised a few campaigns in your time. Um, what would you be saying privately about this? A cause for concern or are we blowing it out of the water here in the Washington media? The, the, the fundamental issue in this race is how many people in the country are unhappy. The, the, the fact is, is people are told all the time that no one has anything in common, the country's evenly divided. 80 plus percent of the country says, we do not want the rematch between Trump and Biden, yet both of these political parties, the first and the third oldest in the world, are going to give the country that rematch. And so you will see resistance manifest itself with oppositional voting in a primary, maybe stay-at-home voters in the general election. Uh, but we're going to see this all the way through. And nobody's yet found the rhythm. How do you appeal to that grumpy American voter that doesn't like either of them, will participate, and doesn't want to hear, for example, from the Biden campaign if they have a concern about his age, that his age, in fact, is his qualification, mm. making him the wisest in the land. Neither party has found its way to that equilibrium yet, how to talk to what I think is going to be a determinative part of the electorate, people who are going to mm. vote but are very unhappy with the choice ahead. A lot of people feeling awfully grumpy right about now. I think you got the right word there. And by the way, I want to let people know that in the warning today on your Substack, I read your column, Steve. You have a pretty dire warning of yeah. if there's appeasement with Vladimir Putin and all the dominoes that could fall, including a nuclearized, you know, South South Korea and Japan and Germany and all these things. So I hope people log on and read that. Yeah. Scripps News political contributor Steve Schmidt, thanks.